Hi there, welcome to class. I'm Miss Faust. Make sure you have paper and a pen or pencil handy so that you can jot down the reminders that are right here behind me on the board. Yes, indeed. Today, the entire essay is due. Yes, yes, yes. Aren't you excited? It's over after today. Then we go on to the next one, somewhere down the road. Yes, yes, yes. So we're talking Truman Capote's Miriam. Sorry, I don't have any roses. Sorry. But close. <laughs> Leaves, other kinds of flowers. It's all right, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the assignment and then talk about the reminders. A little different. Hmm. Okay. Coming over here. So our assignment is to write the entire essay. And it is due when? Today, today, today. Not tomorrow, no, 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 today, okay? The entire essay, all five paragraphs, okay? Now, before you send me that wonderful essay of yours, I want you to make sure that you edit first. In other words, I want you to get out a dictionary. Check your spelling. Okay? Please check your spelling. Spelling mistakes will make a difference in the grade. Okay? So sorry, but yes, when you turn in that final essay, we can't have all these spelling mistakes. No, no, no. Okay, so get out a dictionary. It's okay. Check, check, check. Also, look at your punctuation. Are you using periods? Are you using commas correctly? The semicolon, the colon. Okay, so check all that. You have notes, okay, on punctuation, okay? Then so you've got that. Oh, there's the phone. Okay, so please check your punctuation. One moment, please. Let me take a quick peek. Yes, indeed, indeed. I need you to make sure that you add a title to this wonderful essay. Okay. Also, check the spelling of your title. Makes a difference. Okay. I don't want to read the essay and the first word I see is misspelled. Okay. Please do that. So, again, edit, edit, edit. Look at the spelling. Look at the punctuation. Do your sentences make sense? If needs be, you may have to rewrite a paragraph. So you may have to do a little revising. It's okay. Remember, you're aiming for the best grade possible. So you need to do whatever you can to get that best grade possible. Okay? So edit, and I guess I should write Revise if need if needed. So think about that. But either way, it is due today. So when you're done with it, send it on to me today. Now here are reminders, just a few. Okay, I've talked about the PA writing formula, so you should be aware of that. Check your notes, look at the videos. I need you to make sure that you have to find the concept of the doppelganger in the first body paragraph. Because I, the reader, know nothing about that concept. I don't know what a doppelganger is. You need to let me know what it is. What does that concept, that term mean? Define it before you get involved, you know, in that paragraph trying to talk about whatever it is you're talking about in that paragraph. Okay, so take care of that immediately in that first body paragraph. Include Capone's name and the story title, and the story title needs to be in quotation marks. 
Don't underline. Okay, quotation marks, exactly. In the first question, so you can start. In Truman Capote's Miriam, why, that is fine. Make sure you got that. Ah, please work on that. Two complete pages. Not only misspelled words, but also lack of pages. If we tell you two pages and we only see one page, that goes against you. Please keep that in mind. Two complete pages. That's part of the PA formula. Indent paragraphs. So all your paragraphs need to be indented. You know, the first line of each. Okay, I don't want to have to sit there and go, is this the next paragraph? So move it in, a little space, that first word. And use transitions. First comma, to begin with comma, finally comma, lastly comma, next comma, secondly comma. Please do that. Again, PA requirement. An end essay with a quote and I agree. You end it with those two sentences. Whatever the quote is that relates to the essay, to your essay, to whatever you wrote, and then I agree. It's got to end with that. Please don't just end with your final thought. In conclusion, comma, your final thought, which should only be the rest of that sentence, that, okay, and not in sentence two, three, four, five. Please don't keep writing a final thought. I only want to see one sentence. In conclusion, come on, finish it up. That's it. And now, where's your quote? As my teacher always says, blah, 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 blah. I agree. And we need to see that. Please keep that in mind. I don't want to read three, four, five sentences of your final thought. Just one. That's it. PA requirement. The quote, and I agree. So these are reminders. So look again, look at your draft, the, the pieces that you've been sending me. Look at them, edit them, check them. Reminders, look at the punctuation. Revise if need be. If you have any questions at all, email me. That's why I'm here, I'm here to help you. Okay, otherwise, I expect that essay today. Okay, so that wraps up with Miriam. For the time being, you never know. You know how that goes. Okay, so I hope you have a very good day, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.